Welcome back. Let's start by having a walkthrough of the interface. I highly recommend that you uh, watch the video first uh, where I have uh, given a run through of uh, the entire website there. So now I'm going to show these two buttons and how uh, we can use them for our project creation. First, it is this use online button, which you can access both from here and here as well. So I'm clicking on that. Yes. So when you click on the uh, use online button, there you can uh, do something uh, which is get started or skip. When you click on get started, they will give video tutorials about how you can use every tool. And so uh, let's see one of them, okay? So here, what they are doing is they're going to show you that how to drag and drop all the options there, the shapes and everything. So you can uh, watch these tutorials. There are plenty of it. So I'm crossing it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tutorials in total. So you can choose either to watch and uh, perform the same and uh, go through it. But for this lesson, what I will do is I will skip the entire thing. Okay, I'm resetting it and clicking on it, stopping this page totally. So let's refresh it. And we will look through the tools right here. Okay. So when you are presented uh, with these options and you go through each of them when you click on the show me button and get started with it. So let's see all the tools that we can use here. First, we can see this whole page where we will wor work. That is the workspace. Look here, they are given giving an notification that is saying this is a temporary file sign up or login to save your work that means when you work in this uh, workspace uh, it will not be saved okay so for saving your work then you have to sign up or login we will be doing that but uh, let's first see if this online workspace is giving us the hands-on experience before we uh, choose to sign up for the service, okay? So what we have here is pages. That is, it's showing because uh, there is only one page, so one of one. And there is a small button, pages. We can duplicate it too, but they are not giving access to it. So add page. It's adding one page. So below the add page, we have this page setting where we can um, adjust the length and the that is the height and the width and use this drop down to choose from the preset options, that is the social media things. Um, we have more options, that is LinkedIn banner or career cover, YouTube channel or uploads, tutor header, 
Facebook, and many more. But we will uh, be using this custom size that uh, they are giving by default. So that is it. And there is this layer which we will see when, uh, as and when we work through our process. Okay.